What do you do again for a living? <laughs> I'm a concrete guy. It's like a trained chef did this. It's one of the best dishes I've, I've had so far. Thank you. It's incredible. Cody, you could have been safe up in the gallery. Yes, chef. You took a calculated risk cooking in this challenge. Looking at your dish, it's a bit of a train wreck. David's really cutting it close. There is a risk of me not finishing, but I'm gonna get it. I don't give up easy. If my egg is not poached perfectly, I'm going home. You should be plating by now. All of a sudden, it's like 10 seconds left. I'm like, holy jeez. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, hands up. Shoot. Just another 10 more seconds to finish it off. Would have been golden. I really think it looks beautiful. It's like a piece of art. I put this on my wall. Sabrina. Yes, sir. Please bring up your dish. That yolk better run like the Nile. What is this? A pancreal crusted poached egg laying on a bed of asparagus and black truffle shape. When I cut through this egg, what should I see? You should see the yolk running out and making a glorious sauce with that truffle. Well, let's give it a try. Oh, oh yeah. Look at that. That's like me, yellow magic. <laughs> wow. You know, eggs, asparagus, truffle, match in heaven. And you slice the truffles nice and thick, so you get the full punch of full flavor. I want to devour that whole dish. Fantastic. Thanks, Chef some high praise. <laughs> Something very special happening here. You have the richness of the egg, the acidity and the asparagus, the earthiness and the truffle, and it's all balanced. You've captured the essence of a truffle. Kristen, you're up next. It's a goat cheese uh, bruschetta, and I use white truffle oil for that. And there's black truffle butter on top of a sirloin steak. You uh, got a bit of a false start out of the gate. Sure did, Chef. But you came out of the pantry without your protein? Yep. I think the steak is nicely seasoned. However, a bruschetta with a steak, potato, it, it just, it just doesn't come together. Not sure it's master chef quality, and that's not like you. Yes, chef. Look, I hope you have better luck next time. Thank you, chef. If there's a next time. This is the most frazzled I've ever been in my entire life. Cody, please bring your dish up. Cody, you could have been safe up in the gallery. Yes, chef. You took a calculated risk cooking in this challenge. Tell me about your dish. Butter-basted New York strip loin served over top of a truffle-infused sabayon. The dots are a creamed corn infused with white truffle oil and the beet tartare dressed with a truffle honey vinaigrette. Looking at your dish, it's a bit of a train wreck. Radicchio is very bitter. Yes, Chef. The fact that you've used three different kinds of truffle, it is like flavors that are fighting, but going nowhere. And I hope it doesn't cost you. There's too much going in there. It doesn't work. I can't taste 
any of the distinctive fuffle which we want you to do. I would compare this to a bad date. Oof. It's ridiculously dressed, not very sexy. This one's not going to my prom. What the hell was I thinking? Lynn, please bring your dish to the front. I don't know if this is good enough or if this is gonna send me home. Filet mignon with a truffle, goat cheese, compound butter. The puree on the bottom is beautiful and smooth. That celery root really comes through well. And the amount of truffle that you put in, I think, was just the right amount. Thank you, Chef. It was enough to stand up to the heft of the beef. It's quite impressive. Thank you. Kevin, please bring up your dish. Yes, Chef. Decadent eggs with truffle, carrot puree, asparagus. Can't taste the truffle anywhere. Yeah, if I had a little bit more time, with a shaved truffle on top, but... I'm struggling to say something good about this dish. The Jumping egg is not mess. sitting on the plate. Yeah. The carrot puree, where, where did that... Truffles are underground, so I decided all root vegetables. Eggs work amazingly yes, well with do. truffles. As for the rest of it, it just, it seems as if it's lost its way. I think I said to you once before that I know it's all up in your head and it's a case of you trying to bring that out. And this dish does not do you justice. I am not happy at all. I'm not ready to go home. David, please bring up your dish. So before I tuck in, tell me about your dish. It's a truffled ricotta annulati, the shaved truffles on top. Well, looks alone, it certainly is a restaurant quality dish. Pasta is delicate, light, fluffy, dances on your tongue. And then that rich creaminess of the ricotta cheese with that secondary flavor of the truffle. And then a sauce that is big and rich. It's definitely the kind of dish I'd like to put on my restaurant menu. Thanks. Wonderful. And all done in an hour. It was close. What do you do again for a living? <laughs> I'm a concrete guy. It's like a trained chef did this. It's one of the best dishes I've, I've had so far. Thank you. It's incredible. David knocked it right out of the park. He knows his stuff, and I respect that. Michael, you're up next. I look down on my dish, and I see a wonderful piece of art, minimalist piece of art. A marinated rack of lamb with two carrots and an asparagus, with truffle mashed potato with a pinch of garlic powder. <sighs> I don't know what to say. What is this? If you're speaking of the plating, I did want to go with a minimalist approach. Felt I want, if I saw it in a magazine, I would want to eat it myself. Salty. Why would you use garlic powder? Just wanted a little pinch. I don't, I don't understand the whole dish. Have you ever been to a, an art gallery and looked at a piece of art and said, what the hell sinky was he thinking when he painted that? Abstract artists need to learn how to draw first. You know, the lamb is nicely cooked. I don't get enough of that truffle in it. The potato puree, a little on the dry side. Three pieces of vegetable, one for each of us. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, chefs. Quasi, please bring up your dish. My plate looks the way I want it to. My flavors are there. I'm leaving it in the judge's hands. This is called the Uptown Ting Mac and Cheese Truffle Swing.
come together. <laughs> I like comfort and I like simplicity. Macaroni, cheese, cream cheese, truffles. Was it a fluke or did you know it? I knew it. I tried to honor the ingredient. Well, you certainly impressed me. Thank you. I lost my truffle virginity today and I'm never gonna be afraid about using that ingredient again. In this elimination challenge, you were given an opportunity to honor Eric Chong's favorite ingredient, savory black truffles. And there were two dishes that did just that. The first dish was made by a home cook who has consistently made simple dishes with great results. Tonight, they attempted something a lot more complicated. And that home cook is Sabrina. Great job. I'm so excited. This is changing my life. And there was another exquisite truffle dish. It was not only the best dish in this challenge, but in this competition so far. And that dish belonged to David. Amazing job. You will be the team captains in the upcoming field challenge. They love it, and I feel great. <laughs>